and just arrived as I've come home from Mattel Creations, finally arrived. Cue dramatic box opening music. Dramatic box opening music. Dram oh, I haven't got the budget, I forgot. Okay, well, stuff done. We'll just have to open it. Right, knock everything over. Uh. But as you can see, this is just going to be very quick unboxing, first impressions, just to see what, what it looks like, what you get with it. And I'll link the full written review in the description. So, as you can see, it is the Masterverse New Eternia Horde Trooper. Or is it a Games Workshop guy? No, it's a Horde Trooper. See, look, there's one of them. So, who's this guy? Okay, so, how does this... How's it supposed to... Okay, the box opens from the side. And put it focus. Yeah, just pause it and read it. What's it saying? Uh, Horde Empire, blah blah blah. New Eternia virus. Uh, the, the legions and the prisoners and, and yeah, something. Nice bit of our work. And this opens up and and there's oh, there's a little insert with a fright zone. And I don't know if it, it's ever official whether like things they put in the artwork because it's, it's an Easter egg, but that's clearly because it's kind of on wheels. Maybe that's, I think that's the battle ram. So maybe battle ram in the future. Who knows? There's the all trooper figure, and it's okay. Contents, whatever that is. I'm out. It's nice to see they've gotten rid of the plastic ties and they're now paper so they'll be easier to cut. Recycling and whatnot. But... Is that all of them? That's not all of them. Okay, so once we've got this uh, little and okay, so just looking at them, first impressions, just I mean, it's big, it's definitely on the larger scale of uh, the Masterverse figures. If I can, where is he? We can put it with Masterverse uh, Revelations He Man. Just drop the camera down a bit. You can see there's a he's, a, he's, a, he's well over a head taller. He's, so again, just to give you further size comparison, very quickly. Here is of a classics or trooper. Hopefully that stands okay. Stands about okay. You can see much, much bigger. And with a Origins Horde Trooper. 
I mean, almost dwarfs it. So, you know, these weren't these weren't the usual price. They were, they cost a bit more, but uh, you still already get what you pay for. Just if we can just get a bit better lighting on it. You can see it's uh, it's all moulded in this really nice silver plastic. It's got a, sort of a sprayed on shading here and there just to give it a bit of depth. Here it's gone a bit messy, if you can see that up close. Looks like they've tried to, some of the paint on a filter, but they've not quite let it settle and it's been touched. So that might have been when they were packing it and didn't give enough time to set. But uh, yeah. It's Oh, and here's the thing, instead of it being the usual sort of uh, painting on visor, we can get that in. It's actually translucent, sort of yellowy plastic. Very nice, and there's the sort of classic uh, horde chest emblem that on the vintage tour you would push in and it would sort of break open. But of course, that uh, articulation and the head sort of spins around quite nicely, doesn't tilt. Uh, torso, oh torso, a lot of tilts in it, yeah. Now wait a minute, let me just have a. Okay, now that yeah, that feels like solid plastic. I was slightly worried that was going to be the sort of soft rubbery plastic you get with um, New Eternia Ram Man. Because I, I'm cutting down the days. Okay, it goes a little bit forward. There's a bit of give, but not much. Naturally, doesn't go back very far. It goes out there's a yeah there's a torso yeah it's a very stiff bicep turn is that the right way that's no, that way yeah uh, bend at the elbow sort of up and down and all around with the very big hands obviously you've got a twist at the waist legs come Pretty far up actually, I was surprised by that. This is this is a very gummy plastic so it doesn't get in the way too much and these are sort of not really there. You can see there's a lot of clearance at the hip. There's a little bit of a drop but not much. And obviously it comes out to the side. I think there's a No, it does seem like there's a fire swivel. There's now yeah the looks like it's a double knee, in fact it is. But well, I can't get it to I think it's stuck so We'll just go with that for the meantime. And the f ooh, the feet do not. There's a bit of a turn with the feet. And it looks like it should pivot up and down, but it's stuck, so I'll have to address that at some point. It's still very nice. What is so I wasn't really paying attention to it. Included with the figure was this little box thing, or shoe puff. But there's a weird little baggie inside, so let's see what that is. That is. It's a. Uh, well, I'm not sure. I mean, it just. Okay, so I'm thinking, wait a minute. Okay, so the back is. Just plain here, a little paint scuff. I'm guessing this plugs in like that. Does it plug in? Yeah. sure what that's supposed to be. I guess it's maybe for holding a weapon. So let's actually look at the weapons. So we have the classic style uh, horde sort of um, staff, which all the horde troopers tend to come with. We can just, oh there we go, that's nice. And it's got like the sort of a horde bat sculpt. With sort of classic sort of little, little prongs there, and the sort of uh, we can just get it, yeah. And there's all the sort of uh, technology stuff. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, just a little sort of added detail, you know, because the Friday Zone is all technological. 
if I've read this correct, yeah, it should be. If we just, the little bat wings can. Oh, no, I thought maybe they came all the way out. Because they come only a little bit forward. So, so it could be, I don't know, maybe like, sort of like almost like a pike or something, but. It's not a lesson that. Obviously, we'll just let's see if that fits into the. Oh, it's a big old hand, yeah, so it can. Yeah, it just holds in nice and solid. Actually, to, for, for a figure this size, this staff is kind of underwhelming. It's, it maybe needs to be a little bit bigger. I don't know. So, does it fit into this thing? I don't know. Maybe it fits into. No, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe it's for this. The other accessory it comes with. Just cut it out first. And that's this huge sword it comes with. Right, just to give it... To give it some scale, I mean... You know, it's too big for He-Man. And again, nice sort of a uh, deed. Oh, and of course, sorry, forgot because this is a Masterverse weapon. Uh, I don't believe it. It's not warped. There's a tiny bit of curve, maybe, but not grossly warped. Although this silver blade. If you can see it up close. Can you see like the very faint red splatter on it? There's like a little bit of, I don't know, maybe they undersprayed the silver or just put too much red somewhere and it just... It's not too bad though. A nice sort of, uh, again, horde style uh, hilt. Because, you know, if you're going to name your faction after yourself then you need a lot of brand synergy. So that should, should put it in the other arm. See if that how that fits. Oh yes, it's in it. Yeah, it's a bit awkward, but but yeah, in it goes. Very nice. You could probably, because uh, I know they're making a new Eternia Hordak at one point, you could probably give that to him. Now, maybe is, is that what this is for? Is that for the... Ah, there we go. If you want to click the sword in for storage. So that's quite nice. And again, you've got the option to... Because it doesn't click in, it's just sort of pushed into two little peg holes on the back. But I'm just trying to... It is stiff, though. Let me see how easy it is to take it out. Just it, oh, there we go. And then just back to normal. Now, I'm not sure how we're supposed to do this because there's nothing on the box that says... I'm pretty certain because I've seen... All oh, right, okay, you just dig your thumbnail in. And you take the helmet off and... But don't be shy. And it's... it's Ooh, I don't fancy yours much. So it's uh, this, uh, I guess, goblin guy. Just revealing that horde troopers are just sort of um, some sort of poor uh, innocent creature that's been co-opted into fighting for Hordak. Kind of looks like he's maybe the same species as Hordak because he, you know, he has the sort of uh, pointed ears. But he has these sort of like. Oh, come on, focus. Bit of focus, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I really hate this phone. Come on. Well, anyway, while the phone, uh, the camera tries to focus on this. 
I should say, I kind of, um, it's interesting, I like, um, his eyes are sort of, sort of very faint, almost not coloured in, but they are, but they do have a colour to them, but they're sort of rolled back, almost like he's comatose, like he's sort of, like a zombie that's been forced to power this horde trooper, he's got his little sharpened teeth, or there's a little bit of sloppiness in the white paint, and if you can see on the inside, there's like sort of this clear red plastic with this uh, sort of, you know, circuitry sculpts it in. So it's kind of like it's been this poor unfortunate creature that's like a, almost like a Cyberman, I guess. Yeah, not bad. But uh, I'll keep it with the uh, helmet on. That should go on. Let's clip on okay. Let's see if we can... Yeah, it clips back in easy enough. So that's the new Eternia Horde Trooper. Uh, for review coming soon.